rainforest of Gakona, Alaska, lays what has to be one of the world's largest antenna arrays. HARP, otherwise known as the High Frequency Auroral Research Program, has been shrouded in mystery and conspiracy theories since construction work started in the mid-90s. Given the nature of the facility, there has been many claims by conspiracy theory groups claiming that HARP was designed to control the weather, weaponized to cause disruption and destruction to unaware targets. HARP has also been blamed for causing the seven magnitude Haitian earthquake of 2010, which was reported to have killed more than 220,000 people. However, for the record, the Haitian quake was caused by slippage of a previously unmapped fault along the border of the Caribbean and the North American tectonic plates. Other natural disasters such as the 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan, the Moore, Oklahoma tornado of 2013, and a landslide in 2006 in the Philippines have all been reported as a result of HARP use. One of the most ludicrous conspiracy theories is that HARP was designed to control people's minds, along with altering the very fabric of reality. So what sparked all these conspiracy theories regarding HARP? Maybe it was the experiment scientists were performing back in March 2004. Using a one megawatt generator, scientists sent radio pulses every 7.5 seconds towards the iron sphere from the HARP mega array of antennas, which covered acres of land. These radio waves traveled 30 miles up, hitting the ionosphere, which resulted in a modest neon light show visible from the ground. Natural aurora happens when electrons from a cloud of hot gas, known as plasma, rains down from space and excites the molecules in the ionosphere. However, HARP was able to create a similar experience by sending powerful radio waves from the ground. Maybe this is why conspiracy theories have their concerns and have created these bizarre and ludicrous theories. However, as documented in the Feb 2005 edition of the journal Nature, this experiment was to improve understanding of the aurora and help explain how the iron sphere adversely affects radio communications. After this experiment took place, the scientists were left with a tantalizing possibility that such radio fueled emissions could one day form the basis of a technology which can be used for urban lighting and even celestial advertising. So the questions are, what is HARP? Why was it made? How does it work? And who owns HARP? Now, originally HARP was owned by the US Air Force, but since 2015, it was handed over to the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Now, technically, HARP is the world's most capable, high power, high frequency transmitter for study of the ion sphere. The principal instrument is the Ion Spheric Research Instrument, the IRI. This consists of 180 HF cross dipole antennas spread across 33 acres. The IRI is capable of radiating a massive 3.6 megawatts into the upper atmosphere and ionosphere. The transmit capable frequencies are selectable in the range of 2.7 MHz up to 10 MHz. Since the antennas form a sophisticated phased array, the transmitted beam can take many shapes over a wide angle range. This also results in multiple beams being formed. As well as HARP using active antennas and transmitters, it's also capable of passive reception, which is used to only monitor or listen. This must be the best receiving station on the planet. HARP radio waves heat electrons in the ion sphere, anywhere from 60 to 80 kilometers altitude, but this can also extend as far as 500 kilometers altitude. Now this creates small perturbations that are similar to the kinds of interactions that happen in nature. With HARP, scientists can control when and where these perturbations occur so they can measure their effects. Now with all that said, what do you think about HARP? Have you ever heard it on air transmitting? Well, if you haven't, here's a clip of what it sounds like.
Now, here's one final thought, which I only discovered while doing my research for HARP. A user on the internet has created a map, which apparently shows more HARP stations around the world, located in many countries. Now, here's one, which is apparently in the UK. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard HARP while they were transmitting. Now, I believe they performed some experiments only a couple of months ago. Until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.